Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with a brand new series. So this is going to be an easy achievement guide series for the game Venba, which is available on Game Pass. And this is also available on the cloud if you want to play it that way. But this is going to be a good game for easy daily achievements for the next few weeks. If you have by chance already played Venba, we've still got game guides available here on the channel, and I'll link to these in the description. But you could be playing Unpacking, Contrast, The Bard's Tale, Full Throttle, or Kill It With Fire, or even Day of the Tentacle. So I've got full game guides for those, so if you've already played Venba, maybe you want to play through one of those games instead and work on those easy achievements while we work on Venba for the next few weeks. So this should last us about five weeks or so, and each of the achievements that I'll be showing in these video guides will work for the Game Pass daily quest for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game, because Venba is on Game Pass, as I mentioned. So, this is going to be broken up into three separate parts as usual, so I will hopefully have one achievement per day broken up in the three separate sections of the video for you here. So we're going to go ahead and get started in Venba, and I'll explain just a little bit of the plot in a couple of minutes for this, but basically we've got a cooking game that we're going to work through here, and it has 15 achievements in it and we will grab the first three of those in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the options section of the game and make one little change here for our playthrough. So I would recommend turning the camera bob off. So make sure that says no, and then you can just press B to get back to the main menu, and that's the only change that we're gonna make. There is a chapter select that's available in this game, but we won't have that until we play through it one time. So let's go ahead and get started on our first playthrough. So I'll tell you just a little bit of the plot here because we have an unskippable cutscene at the beginning. And most of the cutscenes are gonna be like this. They're gonna be unskippable. You can skip through some of the dialogue in this game just by quickly paging through, pressing the A button. So we've seen that in a few games before and that's how it's gonna work here. And the dialogue selections are not really important. So you can pretty much just keep mashing the A button. But this game is about a married couple that moves from India to Canada in the late 1980s, and they start a family together. They have some career issues, they have some family issues that they'll tackle throughout the course of the game, so feel free to dig into the story and go through it a little bit slower than I am if you want to fully experience the story of the game. But as always, I'll be working through it as quickly as I can to get those achievements with you. So like I said, we can just mash the A button to get through the dialogue as quickly as possible. But we're going to start working on the first recipe. There are, I believe, about eight recipes that you work on throughout the course of this game to get all the achievements. So we're going to work on the first recipe here, and this is for a dish called Idli's. Now, you would normally be able to get two achievements right here by finishing this dish perfectly and not making any mistakes, but because I want to just get one achievement per day, what we're going to do is we're going to intentionally mess up one time during the creation of this recipe, so that way we'll only get one achievement when we finish it correctly. So this is going to be the incorrect way to make idlis first. So I'm going to take some of the idli batter and drop it onto the idli plate and then drop that plate into the middle. So we're just kind of pointing and clicking, and I'm going to do that a second time and put a second plate with batter on it into the sort of crock pot in the middle, and do that a third time, and then we're going to throw some water into the dish, and then put the top on, and start it up by pressing that little button at the bottom right, turning that knob. So like I said, this is the incorrect way to make the idlis. We're just kind of doing it quickly to mess it up so that we only get one achievement at the end of this. Then you'll take the lid off and set it back onto the towel there. And it says, let's try again. So now let's do it correctly. So now we're gonna take one of these little towels at the bottom left and put it onto the idli plate. We're gonna take some of the batter and put it onto the towel and then put the plate into the pot in the middle. And then we can also rotate this. You can see this little rotation symbol. So let's press A and rotate the plate to where there's kind of two on top and two on the bottom. And then we're gonna put the next towel onto the plate and just kind of repeat that process here. So put the batter on again and put 
put the plate into the pot. And then we're gonna rotate to where there are two on the top and two on the bottom. And then we'll put the next towel on. And the next scoop of batter, that's the last scoop of batter. We'll put that into the pot. And then we'll put the water in as before and put the top on and start the knob at the bottom right. So that is the correct way to make the recipe. So if you did that correctly, if you messed it up one time and then made the idlis correctly the second time, then you should only get one achievement here. And this one's gonna be called Put Chutney. So we're gonna have to play through that again when we get to the next achievement, but that should do it for the day one achievement. You should get the put chutney achievement right there. So that is our first of the 15 achievements in Venba. So as always, just to kind of break it up, I'm gonna be sort of pausing and saving and quitting and going back to the main menu. So that is it for our day one achievement. All right, so for the day two achievement, you can probably guess what we're gonna be doing here. We're going to be going back in and completing that recipe perfectly this time. But in order to do that and get all of the achievements for the game, we need to start a new game. So we wanna do all of our recipes perfectly. So we're gonna to have to go back through that first section of the game again and redo everything from scratch. So unfortunately, you will have to go back through the initial dialogue and the initial cutscenes and everything. I'm not gonna show that here on screen, but it shouldn't take you too long. The initial dialogue isn't, isn't super lengthy. So once you've done that and you've gotten back to the part with the recipe, we're gonna go back through it now with no mistakes and we're gonna get the second achievement, which is for doing a recipe perfectly. So let's go ahead and click on the journal here and then we can press B after we've taken a look at the recipe. Another thing that we're gonna be working on doing is trying to look at all of the flavor texts in the game. So we're going to press the Y button here, and we're going to go to About Idlis, which is the second option here, and click on that. And then we're gonna click on How Is It Made? And then we can just kind of page through this. So there are gonna be some flavor texts like this for each recipe that we do. So you'll see me doing this in future videos as well as we get to the different recipes. But we're just gonna take a look at all this flavor text in order to get that achievement. Since this one has two, press Y again and go to About Italy's again, and then go to How Is It Served? So that's our second flavor text for this first recipe. So make sure that you've paged through each of those flavor texts, and then we can get started on making the Italy's. So this time we're gonna take the towel and put it onto the idli plate, and then we're gonna put the batter on top of that. And then we're gonna take the plate over and put it in the cooker, rotate it to where there are two sections on the top and two sections of the idli batter on the bottom. And then we're gonna set up the second idli plate with the towel and the batter. And then we'll do the same thing, put it into the cooker, rotate, and get two on the top, two on the bottom. And then we'll take the third towel to the third plate and put the last bit of batter onto that plate and put it on. We can just leave it in its starting position. We're gonna put the water into the cooker and then put the lid on and start it up and that should pretty much perfectly make the idlis for us. So we should get that second achievement which is called Like It Was Yesterday. Now if you do ever mess up any of these recipes and you know that you've done something wrong, what you wanna do is just quickly press your menu button and go to the Xbox dashboard and quit the game. So if you know you've messed something up, quit the game, start it back up, and then go back through the recipe again. But since we did that one perfectly, we're gonna get that like it was yesterday achievement right there for not messing up at all. So that is gonna be our day two achievement. And then we'll just go ahead and save and quit and go back to the main menu in order to break up the video here. So let's go ahead and get started on the day three achievement, which is the Putu recipe achievement, or Puthu, I'm not sure how you say it. I think it's Putu, something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to move on to sort of the next chapter of the game. So let's continue this time instead of selecting new game. So make sure you continue there.
So this will be just after you finish the Italy recipe. I'm gonna fast forward here because there's about a five minute dialogue section to get through, but just pause the video if you want to and catch back up to me here once you're ready to start this Putu rocket recipe. So we're gonna click on the recipe book first as usual, just to take a look at that. And then we're going to press Y and make sure that we get the flavor text. So go to storing the flour. And then we'll just page through that. Again, we're working on a recipe flavor text achievement that we'll get later on in the series. So make sure that you've clicked on that flavor text for this first one. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the soaked rice into the blender and turn the blender on. And now we're gonna take the blended rice and put it into the sieve over here on the right side. Now we're gonna take the sieve, pick it up, and shake it out over this towel that's in the center of the screen. So just kind of shake back and forth, and you should drop some of the flour through. Not all of the flour will come out. You'll have some still stuck in the sieve. So what you wanna do with those little balls of flour is take them to the blender and drop them in there. And we're gonna blend those leftover bits again. All right, so we've got the blended rice again. We're going to put it in the sieve again and then shake it again. So this is our second time after blending and shaking. You'll still have a few bits that don't go through the sieve, so let's blend one more time. So put it in the blender, start the blender up, and then we'll take that last section of blended rice, put it in the sieve, and then shake over the towel. And that should take care of all of the rice. It should be all blended now and have passed through the sieve once you're done with that. Now we're gonna pick up the ball of blended rice and put it into the water bowl there. And that's pretty much it for this first half of the mixture. So we'll just page through the dialogue right there. And there's a little bit more dialogue here where they talk about the recipe and putting the rocket together. So let's do that now. Let's take a look at the recipe book first so you can kind of see what it looks like, but I'll tell you the exact order to do things in. So we're gonna take the coconut flour over here, the one on the left, and put that into the rocket on the right. So grab some coconut flour and put it over here. And then we're gonna grab some of the putu flour and put that in the rocket. We're gonna need two scoops of that in. And then we're gonna do one more scoop of the coconut. Two more scoops of the putu. And then one more scoop on top of the coconut. We need to put some water in the base over here at the bottom right. So put some water in the kettle there. Put the mold on top of the kettle. And then we're gonna put the lid on, which is up at the upper right. And then grab the whole kettle and put it onto the stove and turn the stove on. So we've got just a little bit of dialogue here, but basically this should get us the Putu achievement, which will be our day three achievement. <laughs> and again, if you did mess up the recipe during that time, if you know that you did something wrong, you can just you know quit, quit the game in the middle of that, start the recipe back up, and just make sure you do everything perfectly right so that we get that perfect achievement close to the end of the game where we've gotten all of the recipes finished without messing up at all. So I'm just going to pause and then go to the quit option there at the bottom right. And that's pretty much it for our first part of the Venba series. Let me know what you're thinking about this series so far in the comments. And we will be back in two weeks with another part of the Venba series. I'm also gonna have a new quest guide coming out tomorrow for the weekly quest, and I'll have a new Achievement of the Week guide coming out in one week for another easy achievement in a Game Pass game. So I'll look forward to seeing you all in those guides. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you wanna stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.